That's Archer School for girls in the gray uniforms, two and three on the young season and getting ready for their Liberty League opener. And on this day, they draw Oakwood. The Gorillas use nearby North Hollywood Park as their home field. They enter four and one from their non-league schedule. The captains and coaches meet with the umpire at home plate for the pregame ground rules. And now that everyone's properly introduced, let's play some softball. Top of one, Archer with runners on, and it's Rachel Pike with the hard chopper down to third. There's no play at first, and Archer's on the board as Cameron Bellamy scores and helps herself. She's also the Archer pitcher. It's 1-0 visitors. Later in the frame, Archer's still threatening, and Leaden Solomon rips the hard single through the infield. That's going to chase around Sarah Bohm and also Josie Garcia. Archer leads 4-0 and 7-0 before Oakwood could get three outs. And that's just about all Cameron Bellamy would need in the circle. Two outs in the first. Oakwood was something cooking until Bellamy induces the pop-up down to first. That's where Bohm hangs out. She squeezes it for out number three. And it's 7-0 Archer after one. Top of two, that's Pike at the dish, and Rachel swings and smacks a solid single back through the right side. That's going to chase around Morgan Dennis from second, and the visitors up there lead to 8 nothing. Later in the frame, that's Bohm with the bat, and she smacks a clean base hit through the diamond. That's going to send around Pike from second, but the throw is in time, and Rachel is out. She hurts her leg on the play, but she'd be okay, and it stays 8 to nothing, Archer. Meantime, on defense, Archer and Bellamy just rolling along. Cameron winds up and delivers strike three to close out the second. And after two complete, Archer leads it 8-0. Top four, more of the same. That's Morgan Dennis at the dish. She smacks one inside third and down the line. Around comes Allie Kiley, and she's going to score rather easily. And the Panthers have a 9-0 lead. Bottom four, Oakwood gets on the board here. Bellamy snatches the comebacker and gets the out at first. Bohm throws a dart to the plate to get the runner, but it's just a bit late. Oakwood cuts the deficit to 9-1 through 4. But not for long. Top 5, that's Annabelle Gustat Carson with the hot smash to the outfield. Pike holds up to see if it drops, and then Rachel comes on down when she sees that it does. It's 10-1 Archer here. Later in the frame, that's lefty Alex Feldman up with the bags full of Panthers. She slaps one down to third, and it's a force there, but the throw to first can't get Feldman. In comes Zoe Wolf, and Archer leads 12-1 when they're done hitting in the fifth. All that's left for Bellamy is to close down the bottom of that frame. Here, Cameron gets the final out on a grounder to second. In the high school game, the 10-run rule applies after five innings, so it's a final. Archer wins it 12-1. I love this team because we all get along very well and we're very supportive of each other. So even if we're not doing our best, we still support each other and make sure we're feeling good. And freshman Morgan Dennis comes to Archer as an accomplished travel player. Like a typical catcher, she can also share her accumulated wisdom. I always love to help my teammates and like explain things to them and like it's nice because I can see how they look to me for advice sometimes and um, or to me for help, so I'm always there to, like, I love to explain anything I can and, like, be there for them. In North Hollywood, I'm Jake Downey reporting for MaxPreps.com.